In this video, we are doing our second milk test and we are planning on doing the milk test for about eight months. It's a 305 day test for DHI. And Gertie's milk production is going to drop because she's been sick. So the weights that we get from Gertie, this test and possibly next test are not gonna be good references to what a regular Nigerian puts out because she's been sick. Ferns production will go down slightly because we just weaned her babies and it'll slightly drop after you be after you wean the babies and then it should you know go steady when we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright <laughs> It's literally like doing a workout, it hurts <laughs> Bernie likes it. Fern gets pretty vocal when she doesn't get milked. She knows. She knows when it's time to be milked and she starts to get really, really loud. It's usually about 10 hours. She can go to about 10 hours or so and then she starts getting really loud. Okay, now we have to get a sample of the milk, so you pour it back and forth three times. That's three, I'm pouring the little ones. Yeah. Sample. And what that does is what? Splits up the butter fat? Mixes the butter fat. Mixes the butter fat. And um, then this is a salad dressing dipper on Amazon and you have to go straight down in the milk to the bottom and grab it and you're going to pour half half in your test tube it's okay if you spill some you just need to get half a sample in there And the pink, the pink stuff in there is like a preservative that comes in the bottle that preserves the milk on its way to the test facility. And you leave it at room temperature until you have your next sampling. Okay, it's Gertie's turn. We're going to milk her and then weigh it. I spilled some iodine, so don't worry about that. Give her one job. Oh, All right, I'm going to have to do it as I can't handle it. Okay, you're going to miss in the bucket. You really, you must have it like seven times. Let me move it forward. Okay, here you go, but it's important you don't miss though. Well, then I'm gonna have to do one to you at a time. Be patient, baby. So Gertie's comes in at a whopping. Point nine five with the bucket. With the bucket. <laughs> I'm gonna mix and sample Gertie's milk. Not there. So I'm gonna pour. I'm gonna do this three times. Okay, we're back exactly 12 hours later to do the second part of our testing, the evening milk out. So we're gonna start with Fern. We'll milk her out, write down the start time, 
and then we'll swish it around three times and take a sample and fill the rest of the vial. The rest in the bucket. Okay, so we got every last drop. Now we're gonna weigh it. Should I just weigh this bucket or? That's fine. Better. 1.7. 1.70. Oh. Minus 0.55 for the bucket. Do you want to do the now swish? We're mix. Now we've got to do the swish swish three times and then put the other half of the sample in. Leave a little bit from the top. There's a fill line on the actual cup. I'll we'll hold it up here so we can see the fill line. Okay. So it's kind of it's kind of hard to see, but there's a little line where they want you to fill it too. Ferns melt, and now we'll do Gertie. I'll do Gertie. Gertie has a small bag, but her teeth placement and her orifices are really good. She milks out fast. She doesn't have very much milk right now, but... Yeah, you definitely get a lot more milk per... What do you call that? Squirt? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gertie's MPS is a little bit higher than Fern's, even though Gertie's teats are a lot smaller. You get quite a bit more milk per squirt MPS. We gotta get. Bag is so tiny. I know. We gotta get. The ferns is like double D's. We These got, are itty bitties. We gotta get ferns MPS up. I don't think that ever changes. Oh. Okay, she's done. But we forgot to spray fern. Way to go. Okay, now it's time to weigh dirties. Let's see what we got. Oh, look, the batteries are almost set on this thing. Oh, man. Okay. 0.95. So, Gertie, we got 0.95 minus the bucket, which is 0.55. Oh, this morning. Was it? Nice. Even though Gertie's production has gone down significantly, she's still part of our herd. So part of the testing criteria is that you have to put all of your herd in milk tests. So you can't just have your best milking goat on test. Um, you have to have all of your milking goats, actually all of your herd. So even if you have a dry, like we have a dry yearling, Mavis, uh, she is on our uh, DHI, which is dairy herd improvement. So she is on our milk test as a dry goat. So whenever they're sick or they're just off, uh, maybe they have something going on, there's codes that you can put down on the testing so that it will show in the records. The point of DHI is dairy herd improvement. So we want to gather all of this data so that we can improve our herd through buck selection and breeding so that we can see which ones are good producers and which ones will carry on those lines to their babies. The milk stars are a bonus, basically. So they uh, go on their pedigree and they go on their registry. So that is a, a bonus showing that these goats have gained the credentials to have milk stars, which means they have good butterfat content and they are good milk producers. And then that carries on the paperwork. I don't know if Gertie's getting a star. <laughs> Yeah, we'll have to get we'll have to try to just get her production back up because when she got sick, her production went way down. So now we're just working on getting her production back up if it if we can get it to come back up. She's finally eating grain again, so hopefully she'll start plumping. Yeah, start start plumping up and start producing some more milk. Oh, Gertie. Okay, let's stir. Oh. We're not done. We got to stir and see. You want me to do it? Yeah. 
One. Yeah, that's fine. Two. Oh. No, I think that's two. That's two? Mm hmm. So then that would be three? Yeah, okay. Oh. Sample. It's not bad. Do not spill the first oh. sample. If you drop the tube, we're in trouble. No, you Only the bottom is pretty much the. Over the, the sink. See, it just doesn't work. You just gotta. Oh, yeah. Set the edge of your dipper on. <laughs> Got it. What if I drop this? Then it's ruined. Oh. Now we have to put those in the fridge till we pack them up and send them off. All we gotta do now is package up our samples and mail them off. Mm, nailed it. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Bump, 